Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. Today in this video, I really want to um, thank a lot of your, our viewers' support. You know, our subscribers are increasing. And uh, really thank you for your support and your viewership. So, and also, uh, we're getting a lot of comments. Um, but uh, what I really want to tell you guys is that, um, again, with um, Energy First Impact Later, Energy First Golf, we don't teach, we don't give you quick tips so a lot of our videos are really if you see our videos and sometimes some of the information on the videos may be confusing to you or maybe it doesn't make much sense but what i highly recommend that you know you guys watch our channels from the beginning you know um this is a really a learning system how to learn to play golf correctly so a lot of times if you watch just one episode or one video here and there, it's, it's just maybe confusing to you. And that's the reason why a lot of um, viewers um, leave a comment asking questions we which, you know, we have answered before in our previous videos. So again, it's a learning system. It's almost like in the beginning I'm teaching you how to plus, how to minus. And now there's some videos are more, a little bit more advanced. So, you know, you got to understand where we're coming from. You know, again, energy first, impact later. We do not teach impact. So, um, so we're getting a lot of questions. And really, you know, especially now with the pandemic and there's a lot of people picking up golf. And so I'm, I'm getting really busy with lessons, which is great. I love it. But I'm getting a lot of questions um, from a lot of beginners, a lot of amateurs, you know, um, just people start picking up golf and the truth is and i know a lot of people ask questions and there's so much confusions you know there's just so many questions again you know we are a learning system you know we have we have our videos and obviously a lot of you watch different channels you know youtube channels and golf channel golf magazine golf digest and there's so much information and the questions you guys ask are really are very confusing not to me but to you guys because there's just so much information but to me really a golf swing is simple okay you only look at it from this type of perspective are you hitting the ball or are you swinging through the ball or are you dealing with external mechanics or internal mechanics but because there's so much information out there and a lot of you when you watch different channels and you just, it gets really messed up okay so um Again, we do not teach quick tips. Energy first, impact later is a purely a teaching system. We call it the FO Golf. So, let me give you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Basically, if you are swinging, if you are swinging, doesn't matter if you do a full swing, you're pitching, you're chipping, you're doing a bump and run. It's really all the same thing. It just has a different amount of energy and speed. Okay. So what we have been talking about is consider how do you, you know, what the way how you produce correct energy is what we call the internal mechanics. Okay. So for example, if you're doing a full swing, right? If you're doing a full swing, you will lower your body and you have downswing sequence. With correct downswing sequence, you will have what? shaft lean okay because your body is going ahead of the club so you have shaft lean and you have compression and release now with chipping it's actually the same thing right if you think about it if i'm chipping right now i'm loading my body and i'm moving my way forward and getting the body forward and the shaft is leaning forward it's just in a very small scale because the distance is not that far and you have a different tool. But it's the same idea. So it doesn't matter if you're doing a full swing, you're pitching, you're chipping. The internal mechanics is exact same because the internal mechanics means how do you produce correct energy? Now again, we do not teach the balls. So right there and then, you got to ask yourself, if this information that you're listening or you're learning is this information about hitting balls or is this information about swinging 
with Andy's first golf, we only teach swing. So basically, if you're swinging, if you're swinging, if you're pitching, if you're chipping, it's all the same thing. It's just in a different scale. Meaning, if I'm chipping right now, the body is moving forward before the club. There's always going to be what a shaft lean, right? So that is the basis of a golf swing. Means the internal swing mechanics, and you learn to how to do that. But if you come to me, and go well, you know, I watch this golf channel、um, lessons with the pro. You know, some players like to put the ball back. Some players like to put it in the front, and they talk about you know the way how they like it. You know, it depends on the hands, how they release. You know, all of that, blah blah blah. I'm like, well,、uh, those are just external mechanics. Meaning, this particular player is what they prefer, the type of shots they like to hit, the type of spins they like to hit. Again, I don't like the word hit. That you know, the, the type of shots they like to swing. Right, and some people like to have open stands. Some people like to have shut stands. Maybe some people have a square stands. But regardless, what stands, what ball position you have,、uh, what open face, what bounce angle you have, you need internal swing mechanics. Means if you're swinging, regardless of the external setup, you will have a. Shaft leaning movement, meaning the body is leading the club. If you're swinging, so really think about what I'm just saying to you is that golf doesn't have to be that complicated. If you really understanding what you're learning is this external mechanics, or is this internal mechanics? The internal mechanics is purely about you creating correct rotational energy. And then you can start to manipulate the open face, shut face, and all of that. So from this, if you understand what I'm saying to you, then you will learn it correctly. Then you wouldn't freak out. It's oh my god, now my ball is too open. I don't know how to swing. Well, if you have open stance, if you swing again, your shaft's going to lean forward because your body rotation is going to lead the arms. And the arm is gonna lead the club. Shaft lean. So it doesn't matter if it's full swing, if it's pitching, it's chipping. So please do not let all this information on YouTube channels, on golf channels, Di Golf Digest magazine. Remember, there's so many good players out there. They all have their own personal preference. What they talk about is purely about how they play, but they're not teaching you. How to create the proper energy first? Because all of them already have a proper energy. They're just talking about what I like. Now I've got the ball in the back. I want to do a bump and run with a 50A. Okay. There's a bump and run with a spin. Well, there's a break. I didn't see that. So if I if I'm telling to if I'm trying to explain to you how I did that without mentioning how. To create a shaft lean position, and how do I move my body to create shaft lean? I'm just talking about what I do. I like to put the ball back, lean the shaft forward, way forward. Those are all external mechanics. So that is reason why. I, but remember, everything I talked about today in this video has not just chipping. It could be a full swing. It could be a pitching. It could be a chipping, but you guys are confusing on that because sometimes people are just talking about external mechanics on a swing, but a internal mechanics has to do with what? How do you create proper sequence and energy? Right. So this just not you know has everything to do with golf instructions. That's why a lot of amateurs are so confused about all this information. The reason why I'm saying confused because. I see new people every day, new clients every day, and they ask me questions. I'm like, well, you ask me the wrong question. Are you asking me the basic understanding of a golf swing, or are you asking me how a preference, or you heard somebody say that that's how they want to play? That is really fascinating with golf instructions. Really, just overall the golf world. So, like I said, golf instructions shouldn't be that complicated. It's always about. Are you creating energy? 
Are you creating the proper release? Are you hitting the ball? Are you swinging through the ball? Are you dealing with external mechanics? Are you dealing with internal mechanics? So, if you know and you can identify those, you will be very clear on what you're working on. But if you don't know that, it gets very confusing based on the information you're getting. It's an information error. There's so much information, so many different venues, and so many different channels of information. But if you guys don't understand and don't clarify it, don't have a clarity of what you're working on, it can be troublesome. Okay? So um, in this video, I really want to talk about Overall, because I'm getting really busy with lessons. I mean, what I'm experiencing now, just with so many people try to get better at golf, I'm playing golf, but there's just a lot of confusion out there. Again, start watching our videos from the beginning. We don't offer quick tips. We can only offer you the correct learning system. That's all. All right, so appreciate the love. Thank you for your support. And now... Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button right here. And we also have two recommended videos for you to watch. And I will see you next time.